Hello. The title of this video is Pythagoras and Descartes. Pythagoras was an ancient Greek mathematician and Descartes was a French mathematician. Pythagoras was from the island of Samos, which is right off of present-day Turkey lived uh, about 500 BC and he studied triangles and Pythagorean triples like the 3 4 5 triangle 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared René Descartes was from France and he lived I believe in the 1600s yes a 15 96 to 1650 and he developed the coordinate system the XY axes that we use in fact it's called the Cartesian coordinate system after his name Descartes and we're going to take a look at the circle the circle is one of the purest shapes in all of mathematics a circle is a set of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point. So let's look at our first circle. This circle has a radius of 3. And let's look at this on GeoGebra. Here we are in GeoGebra. And you'll notice if we have a point P here, it has an X value, which is this distance from B to A. It has a y value, which is this distance from a to p. And the radius of the circle, the distance from b to p, is the hypotenuse. So for every point on the circle here, I have three numbers that are related in the Pythagorean relationship. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's take a look at some examples. Before we look at some examples, I want to point out that if the radius of the circle is 3, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 9, which is equivalent to x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. x is this value, y is this value, and the 3 squared is going to be the hypotenuse, which is going to be the fixed radius of 3. So let's say that x equals 1. If I come up here and, and plot a point at x equals 1, we're going to have an ordered pair 1 comma something. If you plug in 1 for x and square it, you get 1 and do a little bit of algebra, you're going to get y equals the square root of 8. Now, we can also have y equals the square root of, uh, I'm sorry, the negative square root of 8. So let's graph that point. So we have lots of symmetry in a circle. So we have this point up here, and we have this point down here, 1 comma negative square root of 8. We could also have a symmetrical point over here, which would be negative 1, negative square root of 8. And we could have a point up here negative 1, positive square root of 8. Let's go ahead and do another point here. Let's say that our x value was the square root of 2. Plug in the square root of 2 in for x and figure out what y is. You might pause the video and try to do that. We're going to get the square root of 7 for y. And once again, I have lots of symmetrical points. I could have negative square root of 2, negative square root of 7. I could even turn these coordinates around and have square root of 7 in the x position and square root of 2 in the y position. Now, let's take a look at our next circle. This one has a radius of 5. And let's take a look at this one on GeoGebra. Here we are at GeoGebra, and when we have a radius of 5, 
my equation is going to be x squared plus y squared equals 5 squared, or x squared plus y squared equals 25. And because 5 is the third number in the Pythagorean triple, the 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple, I can have a nice triangle here with integer sides of 3, 4, and 5. I can also have a nice triangle here with sides of 3, 4, and 5. Here's a symmetrical point, negative 4, comma 3. And here's a point at negative 3, comma 4. We could also get some convenient points along the bottom. When the x value is 1 in this case, we're going to get a irrational number, x squared plus y squared equals 25. So I believe in this case, y is going to be the square root of 24. Now I would like to look at the unit circle. The unit circle is very nice. It just has a radius of 1. Pythagorean triples are numbers like 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And let's see how we can use these Pythagorean triples to locate points on the unit circle. So here I have plotted a point 5, 12, and I've intentionally used the first two numbers from the Pythagorean triple 5, 12, 13. I'm going to go ahead and draw in the triangle now. So we have 5 here, we have 12 here, and this hypotenuse is going to be 13. Now, what I would like to do now is zoom in and figure out what ordered pair this is right here. So I'm interested in the coordinates of this point C. Actually, it's quite easy to find. The coordinates of point C are going to be this x value and this y value that make up this little triangle. Notice that this big triangle that's 5, 12, 13 is similar to this little triangle here, BDC. And the hypotenuse of the large triangle is 13. The hypotenuse of the small triangle is 1. So all we need to do is divide all three, I'm sorry, well, it'll be all three sides, but divide the two coordinates by 13, and we're going to get the coordinates of point C. So the ordered pair here for point C is 5 thirteenths, comma, 12 thirteenths. The A, B, and C of the Pythagorean triple can be used to find points on the unit circle. You can check for yourself if you square this and square this and add them together, do you get 1? Yes, you will. 25 over 169 plus 144 over 169 equals 169 over 169. This one point gives us lots of symmetrical points. We can have one over here negative 5 thirteenths comma 12 thirteenths. We can have one down here, negative 5 thirteenths, negative 12 thirteenths. I can have one down here, which is negative, uh, positive 5 thirteenths, negative 12 thirteenths. I can also reflect across the line y equals x and get a symmetrical point over here. This ordered pair is just going to take the ordered pair here and turn it around. So we get the ordered pair 12 thirteenths comma 5 thirteenths. And once again, we could have three more symmetrical points.
The last example I'd like to do in this video involves again the unit circle. And I'm told that I have a point 725ths comma something that's going to be on the unit circle and I would like to find what's going to go in the blank. There are a couple of approaches. One is to consider the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1 and plug in my value and solve. I'm going to do that now. I get this equation and this is going to be 7 squared over 25 squared. I believe 25 squared is 625. I don't think I'm going to show all the algebra details but if I subtract 49 over 625 from both sides I'm going to take 625 over 625 minus 49 over 625, and I will get 576 over 625. And when I take the square root of both sides, I do need to use plus or minus. I get plus or minus 24 over 25. And those are my two answers. So the points here, uh, let's see, 7 25 that's quite a bit less than a half. 24 25 that's almost 1. The positive 24 25 is going to be up here, and the 7 25 negative 24 25 is going to be down here. The other way to do it is to notice that if I have 7 and 25, this is the two of the three members of the Pythagorean triple with the Pythagorean triple being 7, 24, 25. And then just write down the answer directly. We have a nice generalization that if you have any Pythagorean triple, A, B, C, then the ordered pair A over C, B over C, is a point on the unit circle. My name is Jim Olson. Have a great day.